seriously. And About 200 Latinos from across the state gathered at the Radisson Hotel Tuesday morning. Hispanics currently make up about 38% of the Texas population. For the first Texas Latino Advocacy Day. The message is going to be centered by the vote that is made and the legislation that is passed. The group is ready to meet with lawmakers at the state capitol, urging them to take action on immigration reform this legislative session. This is an issue that's very important to many of us, whether we've been here many generations or whether we just got here. State Representative Eddie Rodriguez says he shares their concerns about the controversial issue. It's a little bit more quiet this time, this session, than it has been like previous sessions for some reason. Uh, I'm guessing because it's being tackled at a federal level in a more serious way right now. Some students from Austin's East Side Prep Academy are at the Capitol as well, ready to let their voices be heard. I have friends that are immigrants and I really want to help them stay here. A lot of my family are actually want to come to the um, Texas to have a better life, but they can't because they don't have their papers. There are more than 9.5 million Latinos in Texas, and the number continues to grow. In fact, Latino students make up nearly half of all the children in the state and in public schools. That's why State Representative Rodriguez believes education is the biggest issue facing this lawmakers this uh, session. You know, the numbers show there most kids in public schools in Texas are actually Latinos. And if those kids aren't getting the education they need, it's a pretty bleak future for our state. Latino advocates say they'll continue the call for action at the state capitol for as long as it takes. Quita Culpepper, KV News.